Hey everybody, today we are going to be practicing the letter D on our handwriting paper. You need your paper and a pencil and the first thing I want you to do is actually sit down your pencil because you're going to watch me make an uppercase D first and then we're going to make one together. Are you ready? Did you lay down your pencil? Are you sure? Okay, watch Miss Gibbons. On an uppercase D, I start at blue or the top and go straight down to pink or the bottom. Then I put my pencil back on blue and I make a sideways big hump down to the pink line. This is an uppercase D. All right, pick up your pencil and let's make one together. Put your pencil on the blue line Pull straight down to the pink line. Go back to blue and make a sideways hump down to the pink line. Does yours look like mine? If not, you can pause and erase and fix it. You have plenty of time. All right, let's skip a little space. Let's make one more together. Everybody put your pencil on the blue line Pull straight down to pink. Go back to blue and make one side ah, make one sideways hump down to the pink line. I bet you can make your uppercase D look a little better than Miss Gibbons' uppercase D. That one. Okay, I'm gonna let you make one all by yourself. Pause if you need to. See if you can make it the best one of all. Okay, do your uppercase D's look like my uppercase D's? Great. If they don't, you can pause and erase and fix. All right, if they do, lay down your pencil. We're gonna talk about lowercase D. You ready? We're starting just like our other letters with that lowercase circle. So I'm not on the dots, I'm a little below the dots. I'm gonna curve up and touch the dotted line. Curve down and touch pink. And then I'm gonna make one stick, long line, from blue to pink on the right side of my circle. Not the left, that would be a B, wouldn't it? I'm on the right side from blue to pink or top to bottom. Notice how my stick or my long line is not inside my circle, it's just touching the side. That's how yours needs to look. All right, let's make one together. Everybody pick up your pencil. We're not gonna start on the dots, we're gonna start below the dots. Curve up and touch the dotted line, curve down and touch pink, close it up. Make sure your circle touched the dotted line and the bottom line. And now on the right side, we're gonna make a stick from the top to the bottom or blue to pink. If your lowercase d does not look like this, you can pause and erase. You have plenty of time. All right, let's skip some space. Let's make one more together. Curve up and touch the dots. Curve down and touch the pink line. Close it up. Make sure your circle touched where it needed to and then make a line on the right side from top to bottom or blue to pink. Now if you're ready and you don't need to pause and erase, I'm going to let you make one more uppercase D all by yourself. Take all the time you need. Okay guys, now I'm going to let you work on the third line on your first and last name. Parents, if you're unsure of where certain letters need to touch, since we've only done A through D so far, you can contact your child's teacher and she'll give you guidance on where the letters need to touch for your child's first and last name on the handwriting paper. There's one extra line you can practice D's, or if a certain letter in your name was tricky to you, you can practice that on the last line. That's kind of like your practice line. See you guys later. Bye.